I love you guys. You deserve freedom. You deserve liberation from the programming that you were brought up into. You deserve everything that you could have ever wanted it for yourself. And I'm here to support you and say that it's worth it. The pain and the sorrow and the emotional strife and just bullshit that you have gone through. It's worth it. And I'm here to tell myself that because I, at one point today I just felt like giving up. And it doesn't really... It happens. I'm not gonna lie, it happens more often than... It doesn't happen often, but when it does, I feel like it's been ever since I've kind of been on my journey. Like, it's really hard to explain because I've landed back in my hometown and I could really just spill everything with you guys, but honestly, it's just been really intense. This whole journey has been pointing me back to myself and I've completely gone full circle. Completely. Knowing better, knowing more, knowing myself, knowing the truth and freeing myself from the delusional mindset that I was programmed with from childhood from people who were really hurt and are still very hurt people and don't know how to love and you know what <laughs> This is why I'm on this journey. This is why a lot of us are on our own journey of self-love and what that really means because when you come from a background where people just do not love themselves, you tend to be the brunt of all of that self-loathing and... Um, pain and sorrow and anger use that was my that was me I was the target for all of emotional baggage to be dumped on I was the cause of all pain and problems and to them and I was made to seem that I wasn't loved by outside sources like people who really actually loved me and cared for me and I am now accepting the fact that my childhood upbringing was completely psychotic and delusional and not true. And I have found through my own searching and journeying what and who, what love really is and who <laughs> really loves me because I'm being shown what love is instead of pushing love away like my programmers did like a disease <laughs> I am now accepting it and deprogramming myself from the clone that I was made to be of them. 
and I feel like that is what is so vitally necessary for a lot of us and it goes so deep beyond anything that you could have even imagined. I have been on my spiritual journey for a long time now and it's so deep you guys um, and I feel like I'm just now finally finally coming full circle with all of this and realizing the truth capital T truth divine reality truth and I am not these people I am not these programs I am not any of those things I am me I am here and I am perfectly fine the way that I am and people love me and for me to accept that and to not push that away as like a defense mechanism for vulnerability to fight against vulnerability because I myself am very um, not comfortable in vulnerability because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of being comfortable uh, being vulnerable but I am very humbled to being vulnerable and I will be apparently from what I've been shown in my life lately and not even just lately but overall just that I will be that person I will be that vulnerable person that puts themselves out there not even realizing that I'm doing it to be that example I guess I don't know I don't have any shame there's nothing anyone can say or do to me that I haven't experienced 10 times as intense or to to make me whatever feel a certain way that I am anything less than what I am and that's pretty much it I'm starting to really understand that a lot of these people out here have been so traumatized by them their own upbringing and their own programming that it it's just this cycle and chain of sorrow and pain and repetition and I am here to break that pattern I have no idea how long this cycle of projection and complete mindfuckery has been going on but it ends with me and I'll be that fucking one I'll be that one I'm not afraid it fucking sucks to the point where it's like oh my god I don't want to deal with this anymore and right in the moments of you just giving up there is salvation salvation there is always going to be that saving grace because you asked and you will always get what you ask for what's your intention And, um, I feel like I'm here. In fact, I know that I'm here to show love. To show and experience and live love. To show others what that is by just being myself. And that is... 
the ultimate gift, uh, not even gift, it's the ultimate um, salvation for myself because of course that's why I'm here because look where I've come from look at my life look at everything live and let live and you would be so surprised what comes from that like do you authentically let people be who they are or do you try to change people and nothing's ever good enough and and do you have conditions on your love because you may not agree with what someone with what someone does 11 11 but you let them live and you love them anyway and that is what the world needs the world needs you to come out of your shit and to be fully alive in the moment with all of the with all of us and just to love us unconditionally because all that other shit is not real you have to understand that all of that fluff and these conditions are delusions from your own subconscious programming bullshit reality that you um, were made to think. These are constructs, these are beliefs, and they're burning, washing right away. So... Take a deep breath. Give yourself a good hug or a good cry because you deserve it. I love you. So proud of you. <laughs>